when I initially read the script, I I just really liked it. I thought it was a really interesting idea to, because we all know the trope of a magical Negro in a movie or a TV show who is guiding the white lead to, to their dreams while they're like in the corner being like, I'm happy and humble and just want to help. So I just really liked the idea of seeing those people. Um, I thought it was so smart. And then the jokes were really funny. And I didn't know if it was gonna be like, you know, broad or like really like small and nuanced and we're playing with all the tones and stuff. So like, I can't wait to see how it turns out because it's so much fun. I've had so much fun playing. Didi is fucking fierce, okay? Didi is the head of this society. Didi is a boss bitch. Didi is fun. Didi is like, she's severe, but also has this like softness to her and I, I just like read it and really fell in love with it. And then we got talking about the costumes and I was like, yes, she gets to wear sequins and glitter and sparkles. I'm in. I had not met Kobe before. We met on a Zoom. Have you ever heard of Zoom? Became very popular in 2020. But um, he was on, I think location or like coming from a scout or something. So he was just like kind of frazzled, but that's what it is. Directing is like a huge undertaking. And uh, we had a, like a lovely conversation about what we thought the tone was gonna be and how we thought Dee, Dee was gonna be. And then I haven't had a director send me storyboards before, but like that was super helpful. And it just showed how prepared and how invested he was. And it's always nice to work with someone who like really believes in their vision and is working really hard on their vision. Because I've worked with directors who are just like, no, nah, try it again. But like, he'll say something and then go, does that make sense? And then lets me take a minute to just kind of digest it and then do, do, try to do the note or try to add something that I want. It's like a nice conversation.